Hey everyone, I hope you had a great 4th of July. This is Kyle with another Tax Talk Tuesday, and if you joined us for last week's version, you'll recall that we discussed a tax planning strategy called cost segregation. Cost segregation was really about maximizing depreciation deductions after the purchase or improvement of certain business-related real property. So, sort of in that same vein, this week I wanted to touch on something called bonus depreciation. Bonus depreciation has been around since about 2002, but when the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 was passed, it became an even bigger deal. So, what is it? Quite simply, bonus depreciation is a way to accelerate your standard depreciation deduction. So, rather than depreciating assets over their useful life of, say, 7, 9, 15 years, a business using bonus depreciation can write off more of that cost, more of the cost of an asset, in the year the company starts using it. Under previous law, bonus depreciation was set at 50% of an eligible asset or qualified property's value. Thanks to the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, though, a business now gets to write off 100% of that cost on eligible property. So, how about an example? Let's say a landscaping company purchases a new skid steer loader for $95,000. This skid steer loader has a useful life of seven years and has no salvage value. Under normal depreciation rules, that $95,000 is going to be deducted over the useful life of seven years. Under current bonus depreciation rules, though, an eligible taxpayer basically gets to deduct that entire $95,000 in year one. So for businesses that might be in growth mode, this can be a tremendous tax savings. Uh, a few key things here. Bonus depreciation is not required. You don't have to take it. You do have to depreciate assets, qualified property, um, but do not have to take the bonus depreciation election. Um, bonus depreciation is not the same as what's called the Section 179 deduction, which, spoiler alert, we're going to talk a little bit about that one next week. Um, and in the past, bonus depreciation was limited to new property, and the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act changed the definition of qualified property to now include used property so long as it is new to you. So, as you can see, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act really increased the benefits available uh, when taking bonus depreciation, but before you decide to buy property or go all in on bonus depreciation, it's always a good idea to talk to a tax professional, make sure you're on the right track, and like always, if you have questions, give us a call, shoot us an email, uh, we'll do whatever we can to help you out. Thanks, hope you have a great Tuesday, have a good one.